Okay, so now we have our finished watercolor paintings. I have my big paper and my little paper. This, this looks a little bit different than yours. I found this on the floor and I decided to use it. So it's a little crumpled up and yours aren't, but you have the two different pieces of paper. Now, we need to remember that we need to cover the background of our first layer. So we have a backing and it's about this size, just a little bit smaller, I think. And you're gonna need some bigger pieces to go to cover that background. So when you start, you can think of maybe some different shapes as you start to cut. Some different shapes. These can be straight edge shapes. So I have this. Or I can have some shapes that are circular or curvy. It does not have to be the same. I'm gonna make a circle here. But think about cutting these just a little bit bigger. And then I'll trim that up. So I have my circle shape, one with curvy edges, and I have one with straight edges. So they can be either. Just push that to the side. So I have both of those. Now I can keep cutting and using the paper in the different spots. So maybe I want to just cut that. Maybe I want to cut this piece, but I'm leaving them bigger. Now I'm not going to use all of these. You can trade with a friend if you like their design. You don't have to have the same background, but you saw how it started like this. And you can just start to cut it up. So it looks like this to begin with, the original design. But once you rearrange the pieces on your other, on your background paper, this starts to look a little bit different than when you started if you rearrange the pieces. So that's what your background could look like. You're gonna continue to cut these up. They can be smaller pieces, they don't have to be all big. But you are going to cut these up with different shapes. You could have spiky shapes. You could have, this could be a really tiny piece. Maybe you want to do one that has a little bit of a wave to it. Okay, so then I have that piece. And you're gonna continue to cut this up into your different size pieces. So you have a variety here. Then you're gonna go to this. Now, your stronger paper is going to most likely be your second layer of pieces. So the ones that are gonna sit up above the others. So you're gonna start with a full sheet, cut these up, and then these might be the ones that sit on top of the other pieces but you'll cut this up into smaller shapes than the ones you might have started out with.